In this video, you will learn a very important concept in ebook design, and that is reflowable layouts and fixed layouts. So in Could to Be Author, we have a chapter open in front of us. That's a reflowable chapter about African elephants. If we preview this chapter, this is what we get. Okay, it's an interactive ebook. It has some text, has a video. Let's um, so just have a look. It's a YouTube video. Okay. And we have an image. So I'm going to exit. And then well, I'm going to go to another chapter. That's a fixed layout chapter. I'm going to preview this as well. Now see it looks it looks the same, almost similar. We have the text, we have video, and we have an image. So both chapters look this the same, almost exactly the same. The difference between reflowable layout and fixed layout appears when you view the chapter on mobile devices on smaller screens. So I'm going to go to customize to preview the entire app as a whole. And I'm going to select the platform as uh, we can select iPhone 6 Plus. Okay. Now currently we have the fixed layout chapter open in front of us. Now you can see that at the bottom right we have some uh, we have additional buttons like a magnifying glass. If we click on that it will zoom into the whole chapter just as if you're zooming into an image. Okay. So you can pinch to zoom the whole thing and you have to pan around and you still have access to the interactive elements. You have to pan around horizontally and vertically to be able to see the whole content. Now, let's go back to the reflowable chapter. Select it from here. Now you can see something different. It has a different layout on mobile devices. There's nothing uh, outside our, uh, our view area, nothing uh, overflowing outside. So you only have a vertical scroll bar. You don't have a horizontal scroll bar. If you go to settings, you have an option which is which does, does not exist in the case of fixed layout, and that's the font size. So with reflowable layout, you can adjust the font size. Now let's see what happens when we increase the font size. Okay, you can see that everything wraps, the text wraps despite the font size and despite the screen size, and the content is pushed downwards. So you, the vertical scroll bar increases as we increase the font size. Now, no matter how large you increase the font size, everything will still be readable and fit perfectly in the, in the, on the screen. Okay, so this uh, it gives a much better reading experience on uh, smaller screens than fixed layout. Now, you might be wondering, Obviously, it's much better to have a reflowable layout than fixed layout uh, because it offers better readability. And that's absolutely correct. Uh, we actually strongly recommend our users to, uh, to design their chapters as reflowable layouts. The only problem or disadvantage of designing your uh, book in uh, reflowable layout is the flexibility in design. So let's go to edit and go back to the reflowable chapter, exit the preview. Now, uh, with the reflowable layout, um, you don't have much flexibility in positioning elements. So the content is linear. Meaning if we enter any kind of text here, it will push everything downwards, okay? Now, things don't have a fixed coordinate on the page. Rather, they have a certain sequence that they follow. Also, with sizing, you, this video element, you can't just position it anywhere. It has to come at a certain position so that when the font size uh, changes, uh, the reader knows where to place the video. Okay, so say if we insert a new image, let me just drag the image here. You can see it pushed everything downwards. So some people or most people actually have some difficulty in, in dealing with this kind of, uh, of design. 
uh, this kind of this kind of flexibility uh, with the, with PowerPoint, for example, or Photoshop, or most uh, graphic design uh, software. It's actually fixed layout, so you position things wherever you want on the screen. You don't have any limitations uh, because everything at the end has a fixed position and fixed size that will it will not change no matter what device it runs on. Let's go to the fixed chapter and see what happens here. Now you see everything is arranged in boxes. Now this video element we can resize it easily. You can actually move it around. Things are stacked on top of each other. Okay, now it doesn't make a difference because at the end everything will display exactly in the coordinate that we assign to it. Let's try adding a new image, see what will happen. And see we can add it any way we want. We can actually overlap other elements. Overlapping is not possible in reflowable chapters. It's only possible in uh, fixed chapters or fixed layout chapters. Now let's preview. And you can see we have our image overlapping the video and overlapping text. So that's basically it. Fixed layout is very suitable for magazines, for uh, comic books, children's storybooks that have a lot of uh, illustrative elements the, where the text cannot be separated from the graphics or the images. Reflowable layout is suitable for everything else. Actually, you can you can manage to uh, have magazines and children's storybooks and reflowable layouts. Of course, it, it does require a little bit of experience and it's a little bit tricky. But if you do some reading online, you'll find very creative ways to uh, to achieve that. So I hope that was useful. Thank you.